Hi, I'm James, and I made another video about how to use USB inserts on your PreSonus Studio Live Series 3 console by using your preamp, sending it to the computer, and then returning it as a USB input, all with one channel or multiple channels if you want. But there was a question that came up on that video, which I will link down below, on what happens if you're using not the analog input on the back of the board, but one of the network inputs that are coming from a remote stage box or a PreSonus 32R. Well, I've got the answer for you, and it's pretty simple, so this video will be quick. So let's head over to the console and I'll show you what you do if you have a remote preamp instead of the analog preamp on the board there. So the hard part of all this is explained in the other video, and it's not even really that hard. It just takes a while to explain. But here's how you do it if you have a remote stage box for your input rather than one of the local inputs. On your input channel, if we are on the home screen or the input screen for it, we hit this little gear wheel and you can see that it has digital send options either pre or post. This means pre-processing or post-processing. And our digital send source, which is what's going out the USB, is either digital or analog. Because we're using a network input for our thing, if we've got a 32R or a, another stage box that's digital and it's coming over uh, AVB, we would want our digital send source to be digital versus if we had it plugged in straight to the back of the console, that would be analog. So it's a really simple thing, but it wasn't in the original video, so I thought I'd give this quick update for that. One more thing to remember is that the pre-send also does not include the high-pass filter. So if you're trying to get your vocals tuned, but you're getting a lot of stage noise or background noise that's affecting the tuning, maybe it's picking up a loud guitar part and trying to tune to that and it all just sounds really bad, you should be able to add another high-pass filter plugin in front of Waves Tune Real Time, and that can help to make so that some of that extraneous noise isn't affected by the tuning plugin. Hey, I know this was a quick one, but if you like this video, mash that thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see other content like this. As always, remember, it's all about the low end, avoid the sound tech solo, and nobody leaves church humming the kick drum. We'll see you back here next time on Attaway Audio.